My name is Sonia Chapa. I was previously Coach Ortiz back in the day. I married, so my name is now Sonia Chapa. I teach at Dwight Middle School, and this is my fourth year teaching sixth grade science and eighth grade science. Well, I'm gonna be honest, it was my second time as Teacher of the Year. First time I earned it was at Zamora as a PE teacher and a coach. This time around, Teacher of the Year is very different. I cried when I won because it's more meaningful. When you're a coach, not many people think you are really a teacher. And so when I was a coach in 06 and got that honor, it was because of a lot of work that I've done behind the scenes as a coach. This year, as Teacher of the Year, it's more meaningful because I've been in the classroom now for four years and I work hard. And I've, I've worked harder, I think, than I did coaching. But I felt like I really uh, was an honor for my peers. They finally saw that I'm not coach anymore. And they saw me as Miss Chapa, the science teacher, and who is a tough teacher and who loves her job and who's been blessed to be in a wonderful position to teach students, especially sixth grade and eighth grade science. So this Teacher of the Year has been more special than my previous award. I bring out a lot of things out from my staff. At school at Dwight, they always, my staff tells me that they see this light and that I give them this confidence in themselves that they see me happy all the time. They see how I build good rapport with my students and they see this bright light as I walk in the halls and I cheer up people, colleagues, administrators, students, and, and it's just to see that I feel like I have a gift. I've been given a gift from God, and, and it's amazing that I'm able to use that and share it with my staff, my administrators, and my students. I think what helped me was becoming a PE teacher when I first started. I was a PE teacher and a coach. My students now know I have a coach voice in my class if I need to use it. And I think being in the coaching arena helped me build the teacher that I am now in the classroom. I don't write up students. I think I'm the teacher with the least amount of write-ups, and I think it's due because I set a foundation right away in the beginning. I build positive relationships with my students, and I make lots of phone calls to my parents. So that's helped a lot. It helped a lot to make that transition from a PE teacher to a, to a science teacher now. So it helps me in my classroom to be able to not have any of those problems. But other than that, I just feel like it's something that I was meant to do and, and I like that I'm in the classroom now. I always tell everybody now, I think I should have been in the classroom a long time ago. But I had to have that experience of being the PE teacher and the coach. I had to have that foundation to get me to where I am now. Wow, there's a lot, because I have a lot of former students. And I'm going to touch on one that's here sitting in the room. She is a former student teacher of a year. Ashley Escamilla, she was one of my former students. I saw her in sixth grade. I had her in seventh grade. I forced her to run cross country at Shepherd, seventh and eighth grade. I started the first cross country team at Shepherd, and Ashley Escamilla, who is the teacher of the year at Shepherd, is one of my students. And to find out that she went away to go to college, become a teacher, and be successful, that's my gift. That's the favorite part of my job. It's watching your kids grow up. The first group of kids I've taught are 27, 28 years old now. They find me on Facebook. They actually want me to go run a, a half marathon with them on March. She's part of that group. And for those kids to come and say, Coach, you want to have a reunion? Come run with us again. That's, that's the fun part. That is watching them grow up. And for me, would be Ashley being successful. She was one of my former student athletes. And that to have that honor with a student here is amazing. Well, I do. I have several last thoughts. First, I want to thank God for giving me my many gifts and many blessings. Second thing I want to be, or want to say is, I want to thank my dad and my mom. A lot of people knew my father in the school district. He was Mr. West Campus. He was the head custodian here for a very long time. And his worth ethic is what he gave me. My mother and my father are not very rich, custodian and a school crossing guard, but they taught me what worth ethic was. I think they really wanted boys. And I'm the eldest of three sisters, and he taught me how to work. So I've always worked. Another person I want to thank is my husband. He's a teacher at Zamora, Mr. Chapa. He gave me the faith to become the science teacher, to get out of coaching. He saw that I had a gift. 
He said, you can't stop. You got to stop winning championships. You got to stop beating everybody. Go in the classroom and teach that. And the next person I want to thank is Mr. Marcos Perez. He was the former principal at Zamora. If it wasn't for him, one day he just comes to me in the, in the gym and says, Coach E, I need you to come help us in the science department. I don't know anything about science, sir. I don't teach science. I'm a jock, remember? I don't know anything about science. Coach, here, I'm going to give you this big, big notebook. Go to help out our science department. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't think I was as smart as he thought I was. So now that is why I teach science. He gave me that courage and confidence that I can teach anything. And I am good at it, and I'm going to teach my students to be good as well. So thank you to my staff at Dwight for all the support they give me and the voting of the Teacher of the Year honor. Thank you.